come back. I'm lost. Yeah, I know. No fucking clue where to go. It's not up top. Yeah, and, uh... That's locked. Naomi came through with a, uh, a fried bologna sandwich, which I'll probably have after the, uh... Yeah, sounds like a good day. What the fuck is it with you... And forgetting about my lunch Actually, I, I want to go back three steps in my head. Because I realize that I think way faster than I talk. Um... Yeah, the bologna was Dave's, which has been going bad. But if you fry bologna that's gone bad, it's still okay for a little bit longer. So Dave had this giant fucking thing of bologna that he just let rot in the fridge. I just, I also just forgot about it. Which, and then you also have like a giant container of spaghetti that you offered me. Yeah. And you also have that chicken that's gone bad. And I you threw, also, I threw that out. And you also have the, the bread that's gone moldy. What is it with you and just like buying a shit ton of food and then just not eating it and then like ordering out? Well, I mean, I haven't ordered out in a, like a few weeks, so... I stopped you from doing it yesterday, or whatever day it was. <laughs> yesterday. Was it two days ago? Uh, yeah. It was Friday. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was two days ago. Yeah, you wanted to order a pizza, and I was like, Dave, stop being fucking retarded. And you got, like, like really indignant at me, like, how dare you? And I'm like, Dave, stop and think for a minute. And you're like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, no, the thing is, no, 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 well, my point was... Dev, I came to you to talk to you because I knew that you'd talk me out of it. <laughs> Did you actually? Yes. Oh, okay. I always but, do. But you got mad about it, though. I oh, know, there's like a certain indignity to it. Yeah. Let me move in if we will never go bad in the fridge. Because people aren't eating it, I'll, I'll eat it because holy shit, I'm hungry. Well, maybe but Dragon should... Fat, you got damn hips. Dragon Fat, you're in, you know, fucking just Mordor with Sauron and shit. Mordor? No, I've offered Dragon Fat to move in. I wouldn't mind. Come on in. She said she might be moving to um, Pennsylvania. You're too, you're too tired to sleep anymore. I'm going to Why bed. Good move night. to Canada. You're, you're not a buzzkill, nobody. You're not a buzzkill. Yeah. You're a good person. Just everyone else sucks. No, you're completely fine, dude. Just just go to bed. Take, take a snooze. We'll see you on tomorrow's stream. Dave, order me a pizza. Extra large, extra cheese. Okay. Who likes actually likes anchovies in the chat? Anchovies in your pizza? Yeah. Where are we? We're outside. Oh, fuck, we did it. No, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. Ah, Jesus, Dave. Why the? No, no. Oh, it's one of the guys that tries to kill you in the original game. How, do you, how can you tell? How can you remember anymore? The is, voice. Is, is this the front door? It's the front door, yeah. Nice. Give me the sofa to sleep on. You mean like this sofa? I'm actually considering going up there to visit you if you'll have yep. me. Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Whatever. Tomorrow's stream is not in the morning, but Tuesdays is. But like Dragonfat, I, kn I know that you're poor as fuck. Like, don't don't blow money trying to visit us. That'd be ridiculous. No, dude, you're like you're living in. Okay, I say Moro because um, you're living in fucking Venezuela. Venezuela. <laughs> there are some people actually that I know who are living in Venezuela. Yeah, well, the, he, he's, the, he's, he's the Dominican is not Venezuela. <laughs> no, he's surviving on Patreon money. Because, like, the Venezuelan Bolivar is so shit. Anchovies are okay in small portions. I tried a single anchovy yesterday because Eric, um, Eric was quite drunk. <laughs> quite. I mean, we were walking to the surprise party and he is just... What are you doing, Dave? I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do. Open the door. Turn, 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 turn back Locked! Around. Is it? No, it's not even try it. You didn't even try. I did, dude. I did. It's Look, fucking blocked. It says solutions. Get the solution out of that bucket and then figure it out. Ow, don't hit my... Don't hit the mic! You deserve it. That door? Anyways. Um, yeah, so... We're talking about ordering pizza. Night, and we're talking about ordering from... Good night. And we're ordering from this, this did local place. Did you order pizza? He did. I didn't. Did you eat some? I had you fat the, fuck. I had the good kind. I had the the kind that was. Uh, he ordered a Canadian. Hey, so go in here, seriously. I think there's something going on here that you missed. Where? Is that that door is locked? Yes. Is this a giant. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> is there a thing to climb? They've opened the door, get on the floor, and walk the dinosaur. The going to visit you in three to five to years. Fall. Three, we, we might even be here in three to five years. Because we, we, we want to move away from this city. This city sucks, man. 
I mean, we'll still do the show, but we're going to be somewhere else doing it. Maybe we'll go to Ottawa. Maybe we'll go to Vancouver. I don't want to go to Toronto. Toronto sucks. You found something. Looks like you tripped over a leaf pile. I assume you don't want to live in Toronto anyway, Dave. No. I'm sure you know how bad it is down there. I... Because I know I do. I, I don't want to live in Toronto because it's too busy. It's busy, it's dirty, it's polluted. It's not that polluted anymore. It's just it's, it's just, violent, it's, dude. It's just it's 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 like one of it's, it's one full of, of it's, it's full. Canada's most violent city. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's one of them. Toronto, dude. Toronto. It's not the most violent. Do you know the most violent city city in, okay. in Canada? What? Winnipeg. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking fair. murder central, dude. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. All the all the all the druggies from like the the oil sands fall out. Yeah. Thunder Bay is more violent than fucking. No, it Toronto. doesn't. No, it doesn't. It is now. I, I had when I was there. I looked it up. Like, per capita, it was Toronto beat it by a wide margin. Oh, shit. How bad's Victoria? Um, honestly, the west coast of Canada is just pretty pretty solid. It's it's like California, just a little bit colder and with a bit more sense. Not too much more sense, but enough that it's noticeable. What is sense, Dev? Uh, it's, the, it's, it's the division of a dollar. <coughs> Oh yeah, speaking of that, um, in Venezuela, Ugh. like I, I saw a tweet from, from from I think Caleb, who's in Venezuela, he uh, he said that a week ago, one loaf of bread cost three thousand bolivar, and I don't, I don't know what the conversion is, and in uh, and and today it cost four thousand bolivar. Just the, how it, much it, is a bolivar worth? Um, it used to be very very similar to. Um, to like the Canadian dollar, yeah. But over the past six months, there's been like hyperinflation that's just destroyed the economy. Oh shit! It's like Germany or oh. well, no, it, it's happening because they're, they're, they're like all the, the government is seizing all the private property and trying to do like is becoming a socialist state, and it's destroying the economy, and they just keep raising the minimum wage and raising the minimum wage and raising the minimum wage. Like every six months, they raise like another thousand bolivar, and it's just not working out. Because they're idiots and know how to run a fucking economy. Hmm. Others are wherever you're living, then. Are they, are they socialists? Yeah, they are now. Oh, they're, they're becoming a socialist state now. They're, 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 they're attempting socialism, and it's destroying them. Yeah, those. See, like, I'm, I'm, I'm technically a democratic socialist, but... You're uh, a retard. Dev, yeah. you're, you're... According to what I recall, you're a liberal socialist, which is, in fact, part of the demo social... It's about her this background. Bolivars are worth less than World of Warcraft in-game currency now, yeah. <laughs> One gold? Is worth is worth more than one bolivar if you exchange the gold to real world money. Ew. That's sad. Yeah. Okay. Well, this looks like. Wait, a, a do you guys want to know about how Fox News insulted my high school? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> Fill me in, bud. Fill me in, bud. How was that for a native voice? Fill me in there, bud. Okay. Do you do anything in here? Wait, is the clock even moving? Hmm? Yep. Just very slowly. No, it's moving at normal okay. speed. That's what a second hand does, you fucking idiot. If you actually just stand here, we'll actually loop around. Probably. But then it won't change the time of day, though, outside. No, it won't. That's some bullshit. I, I actually agree with that, musky cockhead. Yeah. That's completely right. Okay, well, <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I'm i apparently tr trapped. Through that door? No. They're both they're both locked. Look, there's, it there's, seems... there's a path up there. So how do you get up there? Yeah, well, exactly. can you, you can't go there, open this door, can you? No. There's like the, the fence door inside the other fence. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna follow that. <laughs> My political test said a narco communist. Jesus. Wait, you're you're like a nar a narco syndicalistic? <laughs> That's funny. That's bullshit. That's fucking funny. In there? How about in here? Oh, God, no. I asked everybody how a girl got locker checked. <clears throat> All they showed was the girl getting hit, not the boy going to check and make sure she's okay. Said she was scared to go to school to pay her attendance showing otherwise. Now, that's just the daytime news, man. They just shit on everything. They do. They love it. 
It, it, like you have to trust alternative news sources. Actually, you know what? They're, even they are like questionably trustworthy, because uh, like Dave, you know, you know about the Ralph retort, right? And like I, it, I know that he uh, yeah the, the Arby's yeah yeah yeah. Well, Al, Ralph went to jail for like what is it six months nine months for punching a police officer in the face. That's it. Yeah. He was drunk and he pleaded guilty and he like got it bargained down, right? Oh, okay. Because I, 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 yeah. I thought it was like three years or something like that at this point. But he, he's in jail. And then they handed over the uh, the site, or he handed it over, like his wife is running it. But also they got a, a YouTuber named Seattle for Truth to run it with him. Like, in, like to like print articles and stuff in his absence. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yesterday Seattle for Truth stabbed his own dad and killed him. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Jesus Apparently, Christ. Hey, wake up, America! Seattle for <laughs> Seattle for Truth is he's like a, a hard alt right guy who, whenever someone disagrees with him, he just calls him like, like a liberal cuck and all this shit, right? Well, guess what? Um, You're gonna get cucked. <laughs> like he's like 38, living with his parents, and he's 38. Yeah, and he's just like doing the site and making like just pennies off of it. He's not making much money at all, and. Um, like, every time his parents would ask him, like, can you please get a job? Can you please, like... And he was, like... They, he, he, he would call his parents liberal cucks. And eventually his dad snapped and said, listen, you get the fuck out of my house. I'm, like, you're not living in my house anymore. And so he stabbed and killed his dad. And now he's going to jail for, like, 30 years. He's 38. Yep. Fucking Gen Xers. <laughs> you interviewed two minutes from the high school on the other side of the city, and they shouldn't try to fight... A video of a fight from a school from an entirely different district. And the school newspaper sent them a letter listing listen, literally everything they did wrong. That's hilarious. Yeah, fuck Fox, man. But no, it seems like even like the alt sources now are, are kind of getting shittier and shittier. There you go, you did it. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, the sewer level, dude. Remember the sewer level from this game? Yeah, it was shitty. That one guy and going to get the generators up and running. Seems oh, all right. Fuck. News pundits are just as mentally deranged, detached from reality, and capable of moral reasoning, just like the lefty new young Turks pundits. Imagine my shock. Yeah, I'm not surprised at that either. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, like, in, in a couple of years, we're going to see, like... Headline that says like Lauren Southern lesbian raped somebody, or like Sargon ate his own baby. Well, actually, Sar- Sargon's not alt right. I just said that because everyone calls him alt right. Sure, Sargon just eats babies for fun. Wait, dude, go back to that. Go back. What? Like, do you even lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone calls Sargon alt right, but he's not. He's just, he's just a, a classical liberal. And actually. He, he's a classical liberal. And he's, a, he's a social liberal because he he agrees with social safety nets being funded by the government, which so, so do so I. So he appreciates yeah. social welfare then. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh shit. Just, hey guy, can you just talk to him? I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I'm even chasing you. <laughs> this time. Oh look, blood. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Um, I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna go like, you know, not be here. <laughs> Sargon sacrifices firstborn son to pagan gods. There goes Daniel. Oh. <laughs> That's his son's name, Daniel. His name should be Isaac. They call him Daniel of Akkad. Why won't you let me in and see the There's docu- a door on the other side, man. The documents. <laughs> yeah? Right there. Yeah. You shit. I say I'm liberal, not a Democrat. I support LGBT and this. Yeah, same. But the, the problem with that in um, in Canada is that our Democratic Party is called the Liberals. So people think that you're part of the Liberal Party if you say you're a liberal. You know what's funny? Uh, that actually brings up a good point. Yes. Yeah. Um, my my dad. Daddy Nix. My daddy Nix. Yeah. David X Sr. Wait, I've heard about this. Did Kraut and T actually dock somebody and get him fired? Because I, I like his work. But Jesus, what the fuck? 
I mean, we have to agree with everything they do. That's true. Anyways, um, my my dad is um, okay. So my, my my dad works for a forestry company. <clears throat> yeah, or did he's no no retired. he does no no he's not retired. Yeah, he's doing he's doing like part time he, now. He's doing like twenty hours he's, a week. He's, he's pulling the no night no. <laughs> he works more than that. He's yeah. probably like thirty hours. Um, he's a he he. he he was good enough at his job. He was one of the executive vice presidents of this company, and but he was, he went to his CEO and he said, "Look, I want to retire, but I don't want to just, you know, like, or like I want to get out of what I'm Wait, doing." Do you mind playing the fucking game while you do this? Yeah, no, fine, it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, the CEO of the company said, "I like, I really want you to keep working for for the time being, at least until we can find someone to replace you, and um, in the meantime, we'll." Like, why don't we get you to do another job? So he's he's um, he's a he's a consultant, mm -hmm. which is something that a lot of uh, you know like retirement age people do, like uh, professionals do, because basically they, they just bring in, they say, what do we do? And your experience is enough to convince them otherwise, right? Mm -hmm. So my, that's what my, my dad is, and, and he works a lot. A lot of the stuff he does is uh, policy. He's uh, I don't know if a lot of you, a lot of you guys probably don't give a shit, but uh, softwood lumber is yeah, I know, like I know, I know, a I know, major a point of contention between no NAFTA. Yeah, yeah, I know. Big no. fucking point of contention between the two <laughs> countries, and uh, my dad is one of one of the people that has been on the front line. Like, okay. Let me put it this way. We're traveling down to see my grandparents. This, guy, this random dude calls my dad. Mm -hmm. He's the fucking CEO of the company. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. And he's talking about softwood lumber and like tariffs and all these guys they brought down to the, you know, the States. To well, yeah, because Trump wants to renegotiate NAFTA. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean... What the fuck's going on in there with a, with a shadow play? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, well, you're, you're gone. Oh, well. All right, there's some corpses, more corpses. Anyways, um, I get in this conversation with my dad about, about political shit, right? And he said that if he was going, because my dad is technically part of, well. There it is, there's, there's the radio. Oh, sweet. Well, we're, we're, don't, 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 don't do it yet. Just finish your story, because we've got two minutes Anyways, left. okay, so my dad's kind of part of the, cons like the, He's like centrist, maybe a little bit center right economically, but he said the NDP, the left wing party, is more reasonable and, and easier to talk to and like less waffling than the fucking center party, the liberals, ever could be. Yeah. I was just shocked. I, 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 didn't, I, I couldn't believe that. You know, when you, you you think of a party, they think of like the center party that they're the ones that are going to be more open and and honest and, and there and are some things the NDP they 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 are not willing to have a rational discussion about. Don't fucking no 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 no. I don't like Trudeau. No. No, Trudeau's a piece of shit. Yeah. But anyways, um, no. My my dad said on the provincial level, at the very least, at the on the like the, you know like the smaller level, mm -hmm. he said that the the left wing party is more rational than the fucking center party, which doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't make any sense. It does on some things, because the the ability to have a reasoned debate and ha keep your mind open is not unique to the left, center, or right. You can be a radical centrist who is not willing to change their mind, and you can be a leftist who's open to discussion. Very true. It's just funny that it's it's that prevalent. <laughs> Wait, the Labour Party is openly anti-Semitic in the UK? How the fuck? What? Oh, sorry, I'm, I messed something up here that I want to see. Yeah. Uh, skeptics refuse to talk about the difference of race. It always be a dodgy when it comes up. I'll talk about it right now, because we've got like 30 seconds left in this episode. Difference of race. Um, there may or may not be legitimate, measurable, scientific differences in the capabilities between races of humans. However, and the environment is... Is, is far too difficult of a variable to control to ever be able to realize that. Simple as that. Like, in, in the United States, you know, you, you, can, you can blame wh whatever factor you want to blame for black people being in 
ridiculous amounts of poverty, which they are. Yeah. But they are. But but the truth of it is that, that they are in it, and therefore you can't take a random selection of black people and a random selection of white people, and then do experiments to to find out uh, differences between races because that variable cannot really be controlled for. Simple as that. Boy, no. as, as, for, as for what I personally believe, I don't think there's any difference between races. I think that it's possible that there are and that I'm wrong. But I, I don't think there really is. I think, I I think, think so. You know, as someone that studies statistics, there's, there's, you know, there's a medium, uh, uh, a, a median and a mode and an average. I mean, whatever. I think, I think that we should all just put our weight behind the master race. Are white. Are kind of getting shittier and shittier. There you go, you did it. <laughs> oh, the sewer level, dude. Remember the sewer level from this game? Yeah, it was shitty. That one guy and going to get the generators up and running. Seems oh, alt-right news pundits are just as mentally deranged, detached from reality, and capable of moral reasoning, just like the lefty New Young Turks pundits. Imagine my shock. Yeah, I'm not surprised at that either. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, like, in, in a couple years, we're going to see, like, headline that says, like, Lauren Southern lesbian raped somebody. Or, like, Sargon ate his own baby. Well, actually, Sar Sargon's not alt right. I just said that because everyone calls him alt right. Sure Sargon just eats babies for fun. Wait, dude, go back to that. Go back. What? Like, do you even lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Now, everyone calls Sargon alt right, but he's not. He's just, he's just a, a classical liberal. And actually, he, he's a classical liberal. And he's, a, he's a social liberal because he he agrees with social safety nets being funded by the government, which so, so do I. So he appreciates yeah. social welfare then. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh. Oh shit. Hey guy, can you just talk to him? I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I'm not even chasing you. This time. Oh look, blood. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna go like you know, not be here. <laughs> Sargon sacrifices firstborn son to pagan gods. There goes Daniel. Oh, <laughs> that's his son's name, Daniel. His name should be Isaac. They call him Daniel of Akkad. Why won't you let me in and see the? This is drawing the other side, man. The documents. <laughs> Yeah? Right there. Yeah. You shit. I say I'm liberal, not a Democrat. I support LGBT and sort Yeah. Same. But the, the problem with that in um in Canada is that our Democratic Party is called the Liberals. So people think that you're part of the Liberal Party if you say you're a liberal. You know what's funny? Uh that actually brings up a good point. Yeah. Is, um my my dad. Daddy Nicks. My Daddy Nicks, yeah. Dave Nicks Sr. Wait, I've heard about this. Did Kraut and T actually dock somebody and get him fired? Because I like his work. But Jesus, what the fuck? We have to agree with everything they do. That's true. Um, Toronto? Do, Toronto? It's not the most violent. Do you know the most violent city, city in, in Canada? What? Winnipeg. No, okay, yeah, yeah. It's fucking fair. murder central, dude. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Yeah. All the all the all the druggies from like the the oil sands follow. Yeah. Thunder Bay is more violent than fucking No, it Toronto. doesn't. No, it doesn't. It is now. I, I had when I was there, I looked it up. Like per capita, it was Wait. Toronto beat it by a wide margin. Oh shit. How bad's Victoria? Um honestly, the west coast of Canada is just pretty pretty solid. It's it's like California just a little bit colder and with a bit more sense. Not too much more sense, but enough that it's noticeable. What is sense, Dev? Uh, it's the it's it's a division of a dollar. <coughs> oh yeah, speaking of that, 
Um, in Venezuela, Ugh. like I, I saw a tweet from, from from I think Caleb, who's in Venezuela. He uh, he said that a week ago, one loaf of bread cost three thousand bolivar. And, I don't know what the conversion is. And in uh, and and today it cost four thousand bolivar. Just the, it, how much it, is a bolivar worth? Um, it used to be very very similar to, um, to like the Canadian dollar. Yeah. But over the past six months, there's been like hyperinflation that's just destroyed the economy. Oh shit! It's like Germany or. or well, no, it, it's happening because they're they're, they're like. All, the, the government is seizing all the private property and trying to do like is becoming a socialist state, and it's destroying the economy, and they just keep raising the minimum wage and raising the minimum wage and raising the minimum wage. Like every six months, they raise like another thousand bolivar, and it's just not working out because they're idiots. Know how to run a fucking economy. Hmm. Others are you're living there. Are, are they socialists? Yeah, they are now. Oh, they're, they're becoming a socialist state now. They're 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 attempting socialism and it's destroying. Those. Yeah, like I'm 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 technically a democratic socialist, but you're uh, a retard, Dev. Yeah. You're you're according to what I recall, you're a liberal socialist, which is in fact part of the demo social. It's about part of the spectrum. Bolivars are worth less than World of Warcraft in game currency now. Yeah, <laughs> one gold is worth is worth more than one bolivar if you exchange the gold to real world money. Ew, that's sad. Yeah. Okay, well, this looks like... Wait, a, a do you guys want to know about how Fox News insulted my high school? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> Fill me in, bud. Fill me in, bud. How was that for a native voice? Fill me in there, bud. Okay, do you do anything in here? Wait, is the clock even moving? Hmm? Yep. Just very slowly. No, it's moving at normal speed. That's what a second hand does, you fucking idiot. If you actually just stand here, we'll... You keep working for for the time being, at least until we can find someone to replace you. And um, in the meantime, well, like, why don't we get you to do another job? So he's he's um, he's a he's a consultant, mm -hmm. which is something that a lot of, uh, you know, like, retirement age people do, like, uh, professionals do, because basically they, they just bring in, they say, what do we do? And your experience is enough to convince them otherwise, right? Mm -hmm. So my, that's what my, my dad is. And, and he works a lot. A lot of the stuff he does is uh, policy. He's, uh, I don't know if, a lot, of you, a lot of you guys probably don't give a shit, but uh, softwood lumber yeah, is I know, a I know, I know, I major a point of contention between, no, NAFTA. Yeah, yeah, I know. Big no. fucking point of contention between the two well, countries. And uh, my dad is one of, one of the people that has been on the front line. Like, okay. Let me put it this way. We're traveling down to see my grandparents. Guys got this random dude calls my dad. Mm -hmm. He's the fucking CEO of the company. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. And he's talking about softwood lumber and like tariffs and all these guys that brought it down to the you know the states to Well yeah, because Trump wants to renegotiate NAFTA. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean What the fuck's going on in there with a with a shadow play? Uh, don't worry about it. Okay, well you're you're gone. Well, all right, there's some corpses, more corpses. Anyways, um, I get in this conversation with my dad about, about political shit, right? And he said that if he was going, because my dad is technically part of, well. There it is, there's, there's a radio. Oh, sweet. Well, we're, we're, don't, 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 don't do it yet. Just finish your story, because we've got two minutes Anyways, left. okay, so my dad's kind of part of the, cons like the, He's like centrist, maybe a little bit center right economically, but he said the NDP, the left wing party, is more reasonable and, and easier to talk to and like less waffling than the fucking center party, the liberals, ever could be. Yeah. I was in shock. I, 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 didn't, I, I couldn't believe that. You know, when you, you you think of a party, they think of like the center party that they're the ones that are going to be more open and and honest and, and there and are some things the NDP they 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 are not willing to have a rational discussion about. Don't fucking no 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 no. I don't like Trudeau. No. No, Trudeau is a piece of shit. Yeah. But anyways, um, no. My my dad said on the provincial level, at the very least, at the on the like you know like the smaller level, mm -hmm. he said that the the left wing party is 
more rational than the fucking center party, which doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't make any sense. It does on some things, because the the ability to have a reasoned debate and... Ha and they just shit on everything. They do. They love it. You, it, like, you have to trust alternative news sources. Actually, you know what? They're, even they are like questionably trustworthy. Because, uh, like, Dave, you know, you know about the Ralph retort, right? And like, I, it, I know that he. Uh, yeah, the, the Arby's. Yeah. 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 Well, Al, Ralph went to jail for like what is it, six months, nine months, for punching a police officer in the face. That's it. Yeah. He was drunk and he pleaded guilty and he like got it bargained down, right? Oh, okay. Because I, 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 yeah. I thought it was like three years or something like that at this point. But he, he's in jail, and then they handed over the uh, the site, or he handed it over. Like his wife is running it, but also they got a, a YouTuber named Seattle for Truth to run it with him, like in, like to like print articles and stuff in his absence. Well, uh, yesterday Seattle for Truth stabbed his own dad and killed him. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Jesus. Apparently, hey, S wake up, America. Seattle for <laughs> Seattle for Truth is he's like a, a hard alt-right guy who whenever someone disagrees with him he just calls him like, like a liberal cuck and all this shit right well guess what um you're gonna get cucked <laughs> like he's like 38 living with his parents and he's 38 yeah and he's just like doing this site and making like just pennies off of it he's not making much money at all and um like every time his parents would ask him like can you please get a job can you please like and he's like they, he, he, he would call his parents liberal cucks and eventually his dad snapped and said, listen, you get the fuck out of my house. I'm, like, you're not living in my house anymore. And so he stabbed and killed his dad. And now he's going to jail for like 30 years. He's 38. Yep. Fucking Gen Xers. <laughs> you interviewed two minutes from the high school on the other side of the city, and they shouldn't have fight a video of a fight from a school from an entirely different district. And the school newspaper sent them a letter to listen, listening literally everything they did wrong. That's hilarious. Yeah, fuck Fox, man. But no, it seems like even like the alt sources now are are kind of getting shittier and shittier. There you go, you did it. <laughs> oh, the sewer level, dude. Remember the sewer level from this game? Yeah, it was shitty. That one guy and going to get the generators up and running. Seems alt right oh, news pundits are just as mentally deranged, detached from reality, and capable of moral reasoning, just like the lefty new young Turks pundits. Imagine my shock. Yeah, I'm not surprised at that either. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, like in, in a couple of years, we're going to see like headline that says like Lauren Southern lesbian raped somebody. They do, they love it. It, it, like, you have to trust alternative news sources. Actually, you know what? They're, even they are like questionably trustworthy, because uh, like Dave, you know you know about the Ralph retort, right? And like I, it, I know that he uh, yeah the, the Arby's yeah yeah yeah. Well, Al, Ralph went to jail for like what is it six months nine months for punching a police officer in the face. That's it. Yeah. He was drunk and he pleaded guilty and he like got it bargained down, right? Oh, okay. Because I I I, I, yeah. I thought it was like three years or something like that at this point. But he, he's in jail, and then they handed over the uh, the site, or he handed it over. Like his wife is running it, but also they got a, a YouTuber named Seattle for Truth to run it with him, like in, like to like print articles and stuff in his absence. Well, uh, yesterday Seattle for Truth stabbed his own dad and killed him. What? <laughs> yeah. What? Jesus. Apparently, hey, S wake up, America. Seattle for <laughs> Seattle for Truth is he's like a, a hard alt-right guy who whenever someone disagrees with him he just calls him like, like a liberal cuck and all this shit right well guess what um you're gonna get cucked like he's like 38 living with his parents and he's 38 yeah and he's just like doing this site and making like just pennies off of it he's not making much money at all and um like every time his parents would ask him like can you please get a job can you please like and he's like they, he, he, he would call his parents liberal cucks and eventually his dad snapped and said, listen, you get the fuck out of my house. I'm, like, you're not living in my house anymore. And so he stabbed and killed his dad. And now he's going to jail for like 30 years. He's 38. Yep.
fucking Gen Xers. <laughs> the interview two minutes from the high school on the other side of the city, and they shouldn't show a fight, a video of a fight from a school from an entirely different district. And the school newspaper sent them a letter listing, listing literally everything they did wrong. That's hilarious. Yeah, fuck Fox, man. But no, it seems like even like the alt sources now are are kind of getting shittier and shittier. There you go, you did it. <laughs> oh, the sewer level, dude. Remember the sewer level from this game? Yeah, it was shitty. That one guy and going to get the generators up and running. Seems oh, alt right fuck. news pundits are just as mentally deranged, detached from reality, and capable of moral reasoning, just like the lefty New Young Turks pundits. Imagine my shock. Yeah, I'm not surprised at that either. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, like in, in a couple of years, we're gonna see like headline that says like Lauren Southern lesbian raped somebody. 